Hey guys, Lavinia here and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be sharing with you my September favorites. Now I know there wasn't much um, time between my August favorites and my September favorites and that's simply because um, I filmed my August favorites in the middle of September, but I still have favorites for September. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to show you guys anyways and I hope you are... Excited to see my September favorites. And before I start, I want to give a huge, huge thank you to all of you for getting me to a thousand subscribers. It was so overwhelming to see that number finally. Um, and I couldn't have done it with all your guys' support. So I am just so grateful for that. And um, I think I might do a giveaway soon, maybe when I hit 2,000. So make sure you subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's get right into my September favorites. The first product I have is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. This is the Ultra Light Formula. I mentioned this in the haul I posted very recently, um, and I have been using this all month long, even though it is new to me. I have been using it. Um, I really, really like it. I used it to prime my face today. I think it makes my makeup last longer, and I think it... Um, primes it really nicely. It just creates a smooth canvas for the rest of my makeup to go on. Um, I think my foundation goes on smoother with this primer. I think my pores are filled. I think um, fine lines are just like blurred. I love, love this primer. And it comes with almost two fluid ounces of product, which is awesome. And it's really inexpensive. So I highly recommend this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Ultra Light Formula. Next, I'm not going to mention a foundation because the foundation I've been wearing most of the month is the same one I mentioned um, in my August favorites, which was the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. I also have a review on this, which I will link both of those videos down below if you're interested. But I do have two concealers this month. The first one is one that is pretty new to me. This is the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlight and Concealing Pen. This is what that looks like and I do have this under my eyes right now I really really like this concealer you guys know my favorite concealer of all time is the Maybelline fit me concealer but this one is just amazing I love how it blends out it kind of leaves a smooth canvas under the eyes it's not very dewy but it's not drying by no means I really like it the only downfall the only downfall um, I would say is so this is what a new one looks like and I've only used this like at most 10 times and you can see the amount of product I'm left with, right? So I feel like you can you just go through these so fast and that's the only downfall I'd have about this concealer. But other than that, it's a really great one and it is inexpensive so I guess that kind of makes up for the amount of product you get. I just feel like you go through this so, so fast. The second concealer I have here, I've mentioned this um, in many favorites videos in the past, but I just had to mention it again since I've been using it all month long. So all month long, my skin has not been doing the greatest. I've been breaking out and um, I've had a lot of texture and stuff like that. And the concealer that's kind of helped me out with that is the Garnier Pure Control Pimple Tinted Concealer. I, when I break out, obviously you want to cover it up and stuff, you know, put on makeup to cover it up. But often makeup can clog more pores and make it worse, you know, make the breakout worse. This is the only concealer that doesn't do that. This dries up my acne right away and um, I feel like this is a skincare product with a bit of coverage, you know, and it does cover pretty well, so I really, really like this. Okay, I have a MAC Fix Plus right here. Now you guys can see how much I've used this already. This has become one of my favorites. I did set my makeup with this today. Um, my skin, especially because I've been wearing that L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation, my skin has been drier because that foundation is a matte foundation. So what I do to kind of hydrate it a bit more, um, I will always use the Hard Candy Sheer MV Primer under and this sets a great, great base for the foundation so that it doesn't um, crack up on my skin and cling to dry spots and stuff. And then I set my face with MAC Fix Plus and this just kind of adds more life to my skin and makes sure the foundation um, doesn't dry out my skin. So I've really been liking MAC Fix Plus and I just like it for eyeshadows to make them more intense and I really like it just to... Um, make my makeup not look cakey. 
Okay, next favorite, I have a highlighter to share with you guys. You know how I went to the e.l.f. Um, studios and I picked up a bunch of highlighters from there. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But my, the highlighter I've been using a ton this month is e.l.f. Moonstone Pearls. And the reason I haven't really been using the other ones is they are too dark for me right now because I've lost my tan. I will use them when, like next summer. But this one is just the one um, that I can actually wear right now. This is the highlight I'm wearing right now. What I love about this highlighter is it's not glittery. It is not glittery. It just gives a nice sheen and reflects light very beautifully. So it looks um, natural, you know? This is just a sheen. Like, it's no... There is no... Um, shimmer to this you know so it's very very pretty this is something that if you like a natural highlight this is something great that you can use my favorite highlighter of all time is the essence pure nude highlight this gives off that similar glow it's very natural but reflects light beautifully but sadly this is now too dark for me i can't use it anymore which makes me so sad but i'm happy i found elf moonstone pearls because it gives off a similar effect but i can actually wear this now that i am pale. Next let's move on to some eyeshadows. The first one is Wet n Wild uh, Single Eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee. I like to bring concealer up onto my eyelid to conceal veins and stuff and sometimes just using a regular powder um, the concealer still creases on my eyelid um, and with this eyeshadow the concealer doesn't budge the whole day I also like this for setting an eyeshadow primer I apply on the eyes it's just a really really great essential eyeshadow this is like a 99 cent eyeshadow very worth it um, and if you're not going to use it for that I have been obsessed with doing like cut creases lately or just doing an all matte look like I have going on today and I just have this in the inner portion of my lid it's a very um, versatile little eyeshadow and I really, really love it. Staying on the eyeshadow route, we've got the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Eye Couture Number no. 2 palette. I purchased this when I went to Target in America. I showed it in my haul video and I have been using this palette like crazy. This just has a great array of colors. It's very inexpensive and these shades are so dang pigmented. Like, they are so pigmented and so creamy. Um, they blend out like a dream. I never have to work hard to blend out these eyeshadow shades. They are amazing. I highly recommend this palette if you can get your hands on it. It's very nice and sleek, too, so I love that. And I can create just so many looks with these matte eyeshadows. Okay, I just got one more palette to share with you guys. This is the Lorac Pro palette. I haven't been using this palette a ton, but when I have been using it, I do really, really like it. Uh, as you can see, I've dug into some of these shades. I think this is a great essential palette. If you love um, these types of shades, definitely go and get this palette. It's such, such great quality. Like, look at this. Like, that was just one swatch of that gold shade. Look how creamy and pigmented and delicious this swatch is. Do you see this? It's so, so good. I love these. They apply great on the eye. They are so pigmented. The only thing I'd be careful with is when you dip your brush, there is a lot of like powder fallout. So I would definitely tap off your brush before going on the eye. But other than that, this palette is amazing. Great, great quality eyeshadows. Great, great pigmentation. I highly recommend. Okay, we've got some lip products here. Um, these are the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipsticks. I have been obsessed with these. I think the formula on these are amazing. One of the best liquid lipstick uh, formulas I've ever tried, hands down, and these are very inexpensive. I heard that the deeper, more uh, vampy shades aren't as good, so I didn't pick those two up, but I did pick up the shades to Tulip to Quit and How Fleek Is Your Love. I'm not wearing any of these shades today, which I probably should have, but these shades are beautiful. I love them. They um, are so, so good. They dry down completely matte on the lips and they are transfer proof. And what I love about these, even after a full day of eating and drinking and all that, you know, they still looked amazing like when I put them on if it did start to wear off right here I could just apply another layer without it getting um you know 
dry and stuff because many liquid lipsticks you can't layer but these you can and they are amazing highly recommend them if you can find them go ahead and grab them don't pass them up okay i've got another lip product and this is more in the fall season um this is divine wine by maybelline this is one of their matte lipsticks this color is not available in canada so i did buy it when i went to america but it's such a beautiful vampy color and you guys know how I'm obsessed with the Maybelline matte formula. So finding a vampy shade like this is great. It wears such a long time and looks great on the lips. There's no patchiness or anything. It's a great, great lipstick. I've got one brow product here to sh share with you guys and this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I mentioned this in the haul video I posted recently. Color is a little bit off. It's a little more brown for me it's a little too brown for me because my brows are more granite tone but if you find um the right shade for you i highly recommend picking this up i think it's a great drugstore brow pencil i love the spoolie on it and um i just love how this glides on the brows and it lasts all day and it's a great great brow pencil okay i have some brushes to share with you guys the first one is the wet and wild flat top brush i really like this for foundation it buffs it in right like away it's so nice it doesn't leave any streaks and it's so inexpensive um i also have one more brush from wet n wild that i will mention to you guys this is the wet n wild blush brush this is the only brush i use for blush now it applies my blush perfectly and when i first got it i was like i am not gonna like that for blush i just didn't think it was a brush i'd like it just applies your blush so perfectly i highly recommend the wet n wild brushes if you can find them my last product is actually a hair product. This is a hair straightener that I bought at the beginning of September because my other one broke. And this is by the brand Absolute Heat. I love this straightener. First of all, it does not make my hair frizzy, which most straighteners do. And second of all, it does not tug at the hair at all. Even on the like tiniest pieces of hair, it does not tug at all, which is amazing. Love how it looks and how um, it feels in the hand. It's a really, really good straightener. I highly recommend if you can find it. Okay guys, so that is it for my favorites video. I hope you all enjoyed. Tell me down below what your favorites for September were because I'd love to check them out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, I love math. Today's video and today's video, well, that, I don't know if you guys can see it. But, um, I was wearing this shade in my August favorites, and I was wearing, oh, I keep referencing products, oh my god. Okay guys, so, whoa, bye guys.